Welcome back. Talking about heart health, the American Heart Association. Dr. Nelly Garcia Blow is with us right now to talk to us about that. And the Heart Ball, which you say is almost sold out. Yes, they've done a fantastic job. It'll be on Saturday, February 15th at the Solomon Ortiz Center. So get your tickets, a few more left. Mm -hmm. This is a really great event where you see philanthropic, corporate, medical come together to raise funds for the American Heart Association and all their life-saving work that they do. It's always a good time. Yes, and it's so almost much fun. sold out already. Exactly, almost sold out, a few tickets left, so um, get on the website, they're on Facebook, Corpus Christi, Heartball, Dot heart dot org. Very, sure. very good. Over we want to focus uh, this month, the month of February, it is Heart Month. Yes. So let's talk about everything that we can do this month. Let's bring awareness to it all. Sure. Well, thank you so much, first of all, for having us. We're so excited to be here. We kicked off Heart Month yesterday, uh -huh. and so Victoria had their Heart Walk, which we're very excited about. And good. then here in Corpus Christi, you saw us around town. It was Know Your Numbers Day. We thank Mayor McComb. He did a proclamation on Tuesday, cool. and the city council members because we really want to bring awareness and let people know how important this is. The guidelines changed two years ago and so those numbers are now lower. Okay. It's still anything below 120 over 80, you're still okay, mm -hmm. but now the range of 120 over one, uh, 120 to 129 is now considered elevated high blood pressure. Okay. And so we're really trying to emphasize that point because what does that mean? It means one in two Americans will now have high blood pressure. And that's a big risk for heart disease and stroke, as you guys know, number one and number two killers around the world. So what can we do? You know, how can we motivate our family? What can we do as a family to yes. make sure that we take care of ourselves? So what I always like to emphasize, and we're all, right, healthcare professionals are the sure. worst patients. Yeah. And so I was checking my blood pressure yesterday. And so, because what we have to remember are multiple things. Just mm -hmm. because your family has it, doesn't mean you have to have the complications associated with it, okay. right? The things we see, heart disease, stroke, renal disease, and kidney um, problems. And so people oftentimes say, well, it's in my family. There's nothing I can do about it. It's mm. an inevitable. And that's not the case. If we know you have high blood pressure, there's medications to treat it. Obviously, we so, always talk about diet, yes. we talk about exercise, exercise mm -hmm. yeah. living a calmer life, and all those things are gonna help you because what we're trying to do is avoid those complications. I'm real big on prevention because I feel like once you have something and I see you in the hospital, it's almost, we've already been too many steps forward. Yes. So we're coming out to the community, that's what Know Your Numbers was about. I wanna thank over 100 volunteers Good. from all over. I mean, that's what's great about the American Heart Association. It's not one hospital system, it was all of the hospitals in our community participating, community organizations. We had pharmacy students from Kingsville. So we thank everybody for giving up that Saturday because we recognize it's gonna take our community yes. to make our community healthier. Right. And Nueces County sits at 34% of high blood pressure which is 6% mm. higher than the national average. Wow. And those are the people that we know have high blood pressure. So how many more people are out there that we haven't identified? And that's what our goal is. So, so this year, you'll see us around yeah. town and with the Hypertension Collaborative under the American Heart Association and with the partnership of our community is being able to get people to not only recognize that you have to stay on top of it, we want to really empower. I love that Mayor sure. McComb said that. He said empower our community to yes. take control of their health. So and I think let that's me so ask important. you, Doc, how do we find out about our numbers? How do we do that? Yes, and so when you go see your doctor and even, right, we go get our eyes checked, you probably get a, a cuff put on your wrist or on your on your bicep, same thing when you go to the dentist. And so that's how we check blood pressure. So two things you always wanna remember is know your numbers. That's why we called the event that. It's not enough, right? I hear from my family, oh, me dijeron que está bien, right? Yeah. And yes. they told me my numbers are fine. Like five oh, years ago. Yes, <laughs> but, and what yes. are those numbers? Yes. Mm -hmm. And make sure that you know your numbers, right? If we can know our Facebook and we can know phone numbers, sure. let's know our health that's numbers right. so that we can own our own health. And I think that's where we'll really start seeing a difference. So once you know if your numbers are good, go back the next year. Don't leave it like me, <laughs> five years, and then, sure. you know, and we all do that. We all get busy, but especially, I say, as women, yes. right, one in, uh, one woman is dying of heart disease and stroke every 80 seconds. That number that is, is just shocking, yeah. mm -hmm. and we really need to do something, and I always say, right, we're examples in yes. our family. As women, right, the men do so much in our lives, but the women, right, we really do everything and take care of everyone else. We also need to take care of ourselves, exactly. and we need to be a good example sure. for our kids and our family. And so yes. what I'm trying to emphasize to people is if you know your numbers, make sure your family members know, your, know their numbers. Mm -hmm. And this is mm -hmm. now our new conversation, is that we empower ourselves. So let me ask you this. We can get the accurate numbers when you go to your 
doctor. Yeah, or exactly. Your, but exactly. you can also go to the pharmacy. Exactly. You can go to the pharmacies. And if those numbers, you always want to, I always say, if, if you go and you get a number, make sure you follow up with your doctor. Make sure you talk to them about it. What does this mean? What are my risks? And what can I do about it? I think the most important part is empowering yourself that you can take control of your own health. And so that's what we're really trying to emphasize. And again, the key number is? The key number is 120 over 80 is the number that we've always remembered, right? Except in my family where they go, estaba como de 260. Oh, right. Right. No, 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 no. Right in the bottom number and yes. you always hear that. So 120 over 80 is still normal, below 120 over 80, but the difference is 120 to 129 is now considered elevated blood pressure. And so we're really trying to get that out because before we used to say, oh, it's still okay in the yeah. 130s and mm -hmm. you kind of yeah. but and round them off. Around them off. And so <laughs> yes. we really want to say, because we can do something about it. And that's the main thing. I, I think people sometimes lose hope when they see their family members or this that have suffered those complications. We've seen our grandparents go through it, yes. right? And and so sometimes you don't realize that there's so much out there that we can do and we can prevent. Do something about it and remember the kids learn by example. Make exactly. sure that you teach them. If they see you exercising, if they see you eating healthy, they're going to want to do that themselves. And it's never too early to teach them because we don't exactly. want them, that to be a problem with them either, you know? Exactly. <laughs> and then so on Friday, you'll see you guys will be wearing red, I'm sure. Yes. So Friday is a national wear red day. And so uh, we always say February is a heart month. So mm -hmm. it's a federal event that goes on every year is to really emphasize the importance of heart disease. Great month yeah. for us to be talking about it all Absolutely. all month long yes, and so on Friday we'll all be wearing our red I started yes. a little bit early <laughs> and so that way um, we'll have that on February 7th. For sure I'll wear red on Friday. I'm in mourning right yes. now because my Cowboys aren't playing. <laughs> this is I know, I know. We're all, all devastated. <laughs> but yes, I am devastated, yes. Yeah. Dr. Nelly Garcia, well thank you so much for coming. Thank Everybody's you for having us. me. What a thank treat. You. Sit back and relax now. We've got them back on stage here. Please welcome a Domingo Live. These gentlemen were just Awesome. Yes, They've right. been so great. We're so proud of them and glad to have them here in the studio. Rick Wentis and the Brown Express.